Yo, what's up, happy people? I'm Austin Crocker, and you're watching Deer Meat for Dinner. If you've been following along in the past couple videos, you already know, but if you're new to the channel, our host, Rob Arrington, has been pretty sick with COVID the past almost two weeks now. And he's doing a lot better. I just spoke to him this morning, but man, he's still not ready to be in front of the camera, and I know he wants to be here really bad. But while he's recovering, I'm back out here again, fishing. Today we're in Stewart, Florida, and I'm with my good buddy, Brett and Hannah. I called him this afternoon, he was up in an attic installing an AC, and I said, bro, have you looked at the beach cam? He said, no. I'm like, look at it. Next thing you know, he comes running down, we jump on the boat, and we're headed out Stewart Inlet. Matter of fact, he jumped out of the attic so fast, he still had putty and stuff in his hair. So we're out here right now looking for bait. What we're dealing with right now is Lake Okeechobee has been dumping a lot of water. It's kind of sucks what's going on. And we got a hard line. Some of it looks like root beer, some of it looks like ocean water. So we're out here right on the edge, about 100 yards off of it, and we're looking for bait. And you are riding shotgun. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. They're right in front of the boat. We're in the right spot. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. You know you found the bait when you got frigates working like that. All right, y'all, we got frigates working like crazy. We got all kinds of explosions going on right here. It could be bonita, could be kingfish. Brenton just threw him out of live bait real quick. We're gonna check out, see what it is. Look at this. <laughs> Pitch right here. You got nailed? Oh, he cut you off? Look at this, y'all, this is crazy. All right, you guys, while we're sitting here catching bait, all the bait just got pushed up to the top. There's like explosions going on. I don't know if it's Benita or Kingfish. I think it's Kingfish. We got two or three frigates working right here, diving. Brenton just tried to pitch a live bait off the bow and he got cut off. So what we're gonna do with that, see that right there? Those are, mm-hmm. We're about to know about this. So what we wanna do is instead of using one hook, if you use one hook on a Kingfish, he's gonna cut you off every single time. So we're gonna put these three hooks together, put it on this line, put a live bait back out, and we're gonna get tight. Look at all the bait, y'all. Look at all the bait under the boat right now. How crazy is this? That's what you live for right there. Got him, get him up quick. Just one. Threadfin herring. All right, here we go, y'all. Triple hook rig. Gonna hook that bait we just caught right here. Get him in the water quick. All this bait is right here behind the boat. We're gonna pitch it right in amongst them. Let that bait swim on down. Come along over here. And your bait's gonna let you know when he's about to get bit. He's gonna start freaking out. Let's check my jagger quick. Good. Let him right on back. He's gonna start swimming down there in that school. And those hooks are gonna make him swim a little different than all the others and start flashing around. Big old toothy critter should nail them. Y'all, I was just changing the battery in the GoPro and I got absolutely smoked. Ugh. I'm trying to get them up off the bottom. This is a big fish. Ugh. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Ugh. This is a big fish, y'all. Ah. I was literally trying to change the battery in the GoPro and my rod just started screaming. I can't believe he didn't get me in a rock. There's so many sharks out here. I got no idea what it was, but man, it was screaming drag. Uh, I see my lead. Come on. Come right here, Brenton. I don't know what we got here. But I got color. Here he comes. What is it? Giant mutton. 
big, big, big mutton. Look at that mutton. Woo! <laughs> yeah, son. Yeah! <laughs> big old mutton. Man! That's my biggest mutton, y'all, right here in Stewart, Florida. Beautiful fish. I never get these things off the bottom. I can't, I was literally trying to change the GoPro battery and I turn around, my line's just screaming. Wow, what a fish. That's dinner, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's get this joker on ice. Fish like this, we really want to ice down good. I'm actually gonna get a bucket of water and pour it in here and make a bit of ice brine. We're gonna keep right on fishing. If we catch another one, great, but if not, this is an incredible day. Woo! What you got, son? Got a nice sail on in the sailfish capital of the world. <laughs> I didn't get it on video, y'all, but we were sitting here just talking about this mutton and the sailfish just came up right here and ate his kingfish bait. <laughs> there he is. Come on, jump for us, girl. Look at that. Look at that fish. Bro, that just happened. Hold on. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Man, they're so pretty when they come to the boat so fast, all lit up like that. What you think, Breton? I love it, I love it. <laughs> Breaking in the new boat. Oh, coming around the front. Woo! Yeah, son! <laughs> what about it? Look at that sail, y'all. Man, <laughs> she's putting on a show. She is all lit up. Wow, look at those colors. Nice fish, bro. All right, let's get her here to the boat and get a good release on her. Maybe she'll jump. Oh, look at that sail in the sun. Look at that. She's ready to go. Go ahead and let her go, Brenton. We're going to follow her. That's how fast you can go from hero to zero out here. <laughs> you have this much fun, it's never enough. <laughs> Look at him, y'all, I'm telling you. He's still got the, he's still got the, what do you call that stuff? Mastic, straight out of work. <laughs> Heard the ocean was calm, left work, straight to the beach. That's how we do it. All right, y'all, we're having too much fun. Like I said before, if we don't catch another one, it was already that much more of an epic day, but we're gonna keep going. If not, we'll see you at the dock. All right, you guys. What better way to end the day than to come to my favorite restaurant here in Salerno, the Twisted Tuna. Come on, I can't wait to see this fish. Now, this is my uncle, my Uncle James. He's one of the biggest mentors in my life. He's a big fisherman. Holy holy man. Look at that. Wow. Mark. Look at that fish. Holy smokes. What a beauty. Thanks, we went, man. Hey, we went all the way to hole in the wall and uh, chasing muttons at a full moon in June, and we didn't catch anything that big. Did it right here in Stewart Park, man. Get lucky every once in a while. Wow. Hey, now what are the chances we can cook this here tonight? Wow. You think we can cook this here? I know, I know Mr. T have cooked that thing up for you, no problem. All right, you guys, we're gonna flay this fish right now, and then we're gonna go inside, and they're gonna cook something up for us. What a beauty. All right, you guys, I'm in the kitchen, but not in the restaurant. I'm actually in my uncle's boat right now. James, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I will clean all this up. He's probably gonna kill me. I just grabbed a shower, 
in about 10 minutes I'm scheduled to go in the kitchen and they're gonna cook something for us awesome now my uncle keeps his boat right here right behind twisted tuna and I was gonna flay it outside but it's so loud out there right now with just music from the restaurant and stuff I figured we'd flay this right where y'all can get a good look at it look at that fish how beautiful is that that is definitely my biggest mutton now we're racing against the clock because they're getting ready for us in there so now all we're gonna do is come just like this and we're gonna flay out one side come down here like this and then we're just gonna follow slide that knife under and we're gonna follow right down this backbone what a chunk of a mutton now all we're doing is following the bones you can feel them we're taking our time on a fish like this. Come in here, cut this free. We're coming right down them bones. And this is why we ice this fish down really good so this comes off perfect. We don't waste any meat. We're sliding right down there like that. Spin the fish around like this. And try to get that little bit left to me, just like that. And we're left with a beautiful, beautiful filet. And I was just gonna take this fish and cook it at the house, but I thought what better way to honor such a beautiful mutton than to cook it at my favorite restaurant. I made a couple phone calls, and they said they'd be willing to cook this up. And then right here, you can see these bones. You can hear them. We're just gonna slide underneath of them, just like that. Cut them right out of the way. Don't want those in there. All right, now we got our fish all done up. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dry it up, clean it. Not even gonna rinse this fish. We've done a really good job of icing it down, keeping everything clean. We're gonna clean this thing up, put it in a Ziploc bag, and I'll see you guys in the kitchen with a real chef. All right, you guys, so I'm in the kitchen right now with Joe, and he is about to cook it up. Now, what are we cooking right now? We have uh, we have mud snapper going on. We're gonna put it on the grill, then we're gonna black it some also. Nice. So what do you call this? We call this, uh, right now we're doing Rockefeller and we're also going to do a Sunset Sandy. Rockefeller and Sunset. We're going to take the snapper, dust it in the cornmeal. Uh, we got cornmeal going on. Alright, so we got white wine going in the pot right now. Don't burn myself now. He's got some uh, garlic and what is in there, onion as well? We got garlic, right here we just have garlic, white wine. Now we're going to put add a little chicken stock to it. Woo! Gonna take it start letting it reduce down. Wow, look at that shrimp. Spinach, in the, spinach going in the pot. Add a little bit of white wine. A little bit of white wine. Gonna reduce it down. So now he's got some butter and flour. He's making a roux. He's thickening up his sauce. He's reducing down his uh, spinach. This is the rock, rock and color topping right here. Rocker filler topping right there. A little bit of roasted garlic in there. Tomatoes and artichokes going in the pot. Look at this, y'all. Woo! Onions, artichokes, mushrooms, red peppers, tomatoes, tomatoes. A little bit of fire. Glazed with white wine. You just put some chicken sauce on top of all of that. Add a lemon. A little bit of lemon. Bring it back over. All right, y'all, so what he's doing is he's taking a little bit of butter right here, putting it in the flour. And you've seen Rob do this before. And he's making a roux. Bring it over. And that's gonna go right in there. Right in. Add a little bit of parsley. Parsley on top. It's all done. 
Wow. Can I have a little bit of salt on this? Now we're going to take some grill seasoning, we're going to throw it on the snapper. Take some pan spray, season up the grill. Should be about five minutes, we'll be good to go. Nice and pretty, so we're not burning it, we're going to cook it evenly. Wow. I want to give a shout out to my two kids, Maddie and Natalie, how y'all doing? You don't know dinner meat for dinner, bro? I do now. Some mashed potatoes for the bottom of the Rockefeller. Now this is the topping that's going on for the sunset. And there you go, voila. Wow. Here we go. We have a Rockefeller. That's good stuff. All right, you guys, we are back in the boat. Chef Joe, you knocked it out of the park. I, I did my best to follow him as best as I could, but I think we made the right call by letting a professional cook this mutton. I've got shrimp scampi right in here and, uh, and Rockefeller here. I mean, I'm blown away. I know me personally, I'm gonna be watching that video back over and over and over to make this dish on my own. There is no way, guys, I would have made something this spectacular in my own kitchen. So I am very happy to have Chef Joe do it. You knocked it out of the park. Now, I mean, it's two completely different dishes. I want to eat that mutton. And I'm going to have Brenton try it, and we're going to get out of here. Oh my gosh, dude. That is... <laughs> that is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Joe, that's, that's the best fish I've ever eaten. Mmm. I love that garlic. Wow, dude. Try a piece of that mutton. What'd you think of that? I'd say it tastes even better when you've been on the water for the last seven hours. That's some good fish there. <laughs> Guys, Brenton is absolutely tired. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I had a lot of fun. That's absolutely the biggest mutton I've ever caught. And we definitely made the right call having a chef cook it. Brenton, thanks a lot, buddy. Brenton's tired. He's been working hard all day. And he's ready to get home and get a shower and get to bed. So I'm not going to keep him any longer. Thanks, buddy, for jumping the gun and running out there and fishing, man. That was a lot of fun. But hey, that's all I got for you guys now. We're going to finish eating. And I got to clean up the mess I made in the sink. Because I guarantee you, if I do not clean that up, I'm, I'm in big trouble. So, all right, y'all. That's all I got. Take care. God bless. We are gone.